Welcome to Module 12, Creating a New Nation. In this module, we'll examine the changes brought to politics, economics, and society by the American Revolution. How would the United States decide to represent its people and structure its government? What was the relationship between elected representatives and the people? How did the American consciousness we started to explore in Module 11 translate into a national identity? In this module, we'll assess the immediate aftermath of the American Revolution. We'll explore the development of governing documents like the Articles of Confederation and assess how economics, politics, and religion were impacted by the formation of the United States. We will then turn to conversations about race and slavery. Virtually every founding era legislator owned slaves at one point in his lifetime, with a few notable exceptions. Thus, at the same time they were crafting a new nation built on ideas of liberty and equality, they had close relationships with people who were completely unfree. Revolutionary era debates were not limited to race and slavery. We'll also examine some of the earliest American writings calling for women's equal rights. As founding fathers radically changed the relationships between the state and citizens, they left in place the old English law of domestic relations, where married women's property and physical bodies were legally under the complete control of their husbands. We'll end the module with an examination of Native people's roles in the American Revolution and the relationships formed between the United States and Native nations in the early national period. This was a period of great promise and possibility. Americans were literally building a new country. Who would be included in the body politic? How would the nation run? What would tie people together? In this module and the next, we'll investigate these questions. The required readings for this module will allow you to delve more deeply into questions of race, gender, freedom, and equality. You'll read the famous exchange between John and Abigail Adams, where Abigail urges her husband to, quote, remember the ladies in the development of political rights. You'll also read a personal account of a former slave who fought alongside the British in the revolution, and listen to a Memory Palace podcast about one of George Washington's own slaves, a chef named Hercules, who escaped to freedom after the nation's founding. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts this week. Good luck with Module 12.